Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about that sidebar. So that's the little section in your happy planner next to the week. That's just a strip and some of you don't know what to do with it. So I'm going to give you lots of ideas in this video. So stick around and hopefully it will help you. So if you're anything like me, when I started planning, I was a little bit confused over what to do with the sidebar in my happy planner. Like it's the section on the side where there's this big space, it's like a vertical space, and what do you do with it? But I thought I would take you through my planner and just show you some ideas, some ways that I used the sidebar before, and then kind of talk about other things you can do that I have not done that might be useful for you. So this is my 2018 planner and I marked a couple of pages in here just to show you some of the things that I've done. So on this page, what I did was I like chose some big goals for the week and I, I think I was very overwhelmed this week. I had a lot to do. So it was like, okay, if I can just get these four big things done, then everything else is like cake on top of that. So that's why I chose to focus on this over here as just like a reminder to myself that as long as I get those four things done, I'm okay. And so that really helped me stay focused. And then the rest of it, I kind of just filled in with some stickers. I really like this actually. I like this on here. It's really, really cute. Okay. So the next page I want to show you is this one. I, again, took like some big goals for the week and put it on this. I got like a, I think this came from the productivity sticker book, just a big long sticker that had a couple of habit trackers on there and then like a goal section and that really helped. I also used this, this is when I was reading a whole lot. This is when I was taking care of my husband when he was sick. I had some extra time for reading at night. So I was tracking over here on the sidebar like what I was reading. You can also use this to track the TV shows you're watching. So that might be helpful for you. Let's see. Okay, so this was a trip that I went on and I used the sidebar this time for like memories of my trip. So if you go away somewhere, it's really helpful just to jot down memories of your trip, things that you did, places you ate, things like that. And I wrote states I visited on this trip because it was a road trip and I did pass through a bunch of states and it's kind of fun just to look back on like a memory section here. Okay, this I never really completed. This is when I went to Italy. I never really went back and filled this out. I kind of wish that I had, I did a little bit, but I wanted to show you this because it can just, you can just do some things with stickers on the sidebar. You can like layer them and maybe layer a little quote there. And I could have also filled up this section with stickers. So if I wanted to be decorative on the sidebar, I could totally do that without even including any like specialty lists or anything like that. If you don't have a lot going on that week or something, you can just fill this with stickers. Okay, again, this time I chose a really big sticker just to fill this up. This was a fall spread, so I thought this was really cute and just threw that down. And then I had a little gratitude section over there. Okay, now I'm going to show you my 2019 planner and some ideas that I used for that. Okay. I used my donut washi here because, like, how many times am I going to use donut washi? And, like, I'll just waste it. I don't care because, like, I had a huge roll. <laughs> okay, so... This page, I decided to use a journaling sticker 
and I put my weekly goals in there. So you can take those journaling stickers from the Happy Planner and just put them in your sidebar and put whatever you want in them. I thought that was a fun thing to do. And then what I was doing most of this year is taking this little section. This was the Daily Details Planner. I was taking this little section that was already on the planner and just putting like my priority list for the week, the things that I really, really had to get done and putting them there. And then I would transfer them over to like more detailed lists, but I did this for a really long time. I would put the priority lists in the sidebar. I kind of have gotten away from that a little bit. I still sort of do, but not every time now. Here's another example of me just filling it up with stickers and a little reminder to drink my water for that week. So if there's like one thing that you really need to accomplish that's really important to you right then, you can just write yourself a big reminder and then when you're looking at your planner it's always going to be there. So you know, you can just like glance over the sidebar and see it all the time. And like, oh yeah, I gotta drink more water. Get on that. Ugh. Okay, so here's an example of a week when I was going away. So I was going to Florida for my cousin's wedding and I decided to use a packing list sticker and put it in the sidebar because these are the things that I like it's not going to be my whole packing list but it's going to be things that I probably would have forgotten so I'm making sure that I write it down on the sidebar and that, that really really helped. I do that pretty much every time I have a trip I'll write in um, a packing list on the sidebar there. Okay this is another example of what I did most of last year which is like important priorities here, things that I really wanted to get done during the week, and then filled them in after that. Like when I was filling out my planner for the week, I would glance over and think, okay, new mailbox, and I put it somewhere here so that, and well, actually that's a bad example because that's not on here, but um, a lot of the time I'll take things like from here and put them on here on a specific day that I want to get them done. And I just threw in a couple little stickers there to just bring in the same decor of the spread over into my sidebar. Okay, again, this is another time that I did that. Just same thing, like a big long list of things I needed to get done. And then an extra sticker just to fill up that space. Okay, this week I used the sidebar for gratitude. You guys know, or I think you know, that I include a gratitude list in every spread, in every weekly spread, and this time I put it over in my sidebar. I do that sometimes, and then sometimes I'll put it over here, or it's usually pretty much here or here, and once in a while it's I just include a big list in the sidebar. So if you're somebody who wants to include gratitude in your planner, that's a really good place to put it. Again, all the things, um, priority list. Okay, here's an example where I didn't have anything to put in the sidebar this week or I didn't really think that it was, I needed it for the week. There you go, there's my gratitude over here, like I said. Anyway, um, so I decided to kind of just letter a really fun quote over here and just place it inside a long box sticker. And I think that's really cute, especially if it's a holiday week. I think that's a fun thing to do. This is stuck together. <clears throat> Okay, here's an example of a random acts of kindness list that I did this week, and it was Christmas week, so, or the week before Christmas, so, you know, that was a fun thing to do around that time, but you could do that any week. Any week you want to just write in some random acts of kindness, make sure you check those off, that you've done some of them, and it's just like a nice little reminder to be a good person, 
and all of that. Okay, so those are the, the things I've done in my planner. There are so many other ideas and I'm just gonna take you through a couple of them now. So here is the essential planning sticker book, but there are so many like bill pay stickers in other sticker books and all. I just happened to pull this one out. But if you're paying bills that week, you can just include them like boom, 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 boom on the sidebar like a long list and you can write in the bills that are due that week and the amounts. Super self-explanatory. Also, um, as far as like budget stuff goes, like money, uh, this would be a good thing to do too for like a weekly spending so that you can put this in your sidebar and put the amount that you spent every day for the week just as like um, an ongoing check to yourself to make sure you're not spending too much money. You could do this every week, you could just do it for one week whatever you want. You could combine it with the bill pay. So you could do like a whole budget sidebar. That would be really useful, especially if you don't use a budget planner. So that's one idea. And if you're having a party, this is the celebrate sticker book. If you're having a party that week, which I don't have a whole lot of parties, you guys, let's be honest. I just don't. Um, but if I was having a party, I could use something like these long, box stickers for party details, plan all the things. You can write in the things you need to buy or a menu plan for that party, whatever you wanna do. Include the details in your sidebar so that it's there for you to reference during the week. Um, if you hadn't noticed, the sidebar is a really good place to use long box stickers and pretty much every Happy Planner sticker book has at least a couple of these long box stickers. Not every book, but most of the books have some of these and they're super useful for the sidebar. So if you don't have these, you could also use skinny washi tape and make a box of your own, or you can just write in the sidebar. You certainly don't need a box, but I really like to use these types of stickers because they fit so nicely in the sidebar and they're really, really cute. Okay. This is like a, oh wait, we have, it's the productivity sticker book, the blue one. Um, this would be a good idea if you want to track fitness things in the sidebar. So, you know, weigh in, your goal for the week, calories, steps, exercise, vitamins, water. So we have some habit trackers going on here. This is really useful if you're really, really trying to track your fitness. And then it's always there for you to reference and for you to write in throughout the week. And if you're just doing general habit tracking, you could certainly use these. They're in so many of the sticker books and just kind of put them in a row. I think you saw me do that maybe once. And you can track a whole bunch of habits for that week. I mean, you can like, let me just pull out a sidebar so I can show you. There was a packing list <laughs> for Go Wild. Um, so, so these will fit. So you can do like one, two, three, four, five. You can do like five or six of these in the sidebar and track your habits. You could do this every week if you wanted to. Okay, another idea is menu planning. This, of course, fits in the sidebar. This is in the recipe sticker book, the new one and they have a bunch of these in different colors and like these are so useful if you're somebody who has a big family and you need to track your meals um, you certainly don't need a cute sticker to do so but it is really helpful to have that too so there are other books that have these menu planning stickers and like i just think they're super useful another idea would be to track chores and i couldn't find a specific sidebar sticker for chores, but I am sure there is one. Um, you could track chores in your sidebar, like one for each day or multiple things for each day. There are just so many, oh, errands is another one. You could track the errands you have to, to make that week. You can also track a grocery list or things to buy. Like I, I actually have done that before, but I couldn't find it. 
Uh, it's really easy to just jot down on the sidebar the things you need at the store. Um, especially if you use like a classic and it's something you carry around. Like I don't carry my big around, so that's why I don't do the grocery list in the big. I do the grocery list in my mini. But that would be useful too. So there's so many ideas that like it's just on and on and on. But those are some of the big ones I've thought of. Let me know in the comments down below if I missed anything and also tell me what you're using your sidebar for and does it change a lot or are you using the same using it for the like the same thing every week? I'd be interested to know cuz like mine has pretty much stayed consistent but now I'm sort of in this limbo where I don't quite know what to do with it. I'm sort of not doing the priority lists anymore. I'm kind of switching it up. But um let me know what you do. I'd be interested to know. So I hope this was helpful for you. And I guess I will see you in my next video. Take care. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.